Hi, I'm Erica Gamut with InDesign Secrets. In this video, I want to share a little trick for styling text that's been imported into an InDesign document. Most of the text I import tends to be styled incorrectly or inconsistently. So what I do is tend to strip out any styling and apply it right inside InDesign itself. But I also don't want to have to find and fix every little bold or italic bit of text throughout the entire document. Instead, I'm going to make InDesign change that text for me. First, I'll import some styled text. Go over to the File menu and choose Place. And in this case, I'm going to choose a rich text file. I need to make sure that Show Import Options is turned on, otherwise it's going to use the options that I used last time. And we'll click OK. And now I have my Import Options dialog box. If it's not already selected, I make sure that I remove styles and formatting from text and tables, and that's going to pull out any styling that may have been put into the file. But where the magic happens is right here under Preserve Local Overrides. That will keep all of the italicized and bold that may have been applied afterwards, it will keep it entirely intact. I'll say OK to that. Now I've got my loaded text gun, and I'll just click and drag, and that text will appear on the page. And as you can see, it's slightly styled, and that's because I've already created a paragraph style called body text. And I made that my default text, so any text that I place is already styled with that text. However, you might notice this little plus, and that means that I have some overrides or some changes to text in addition to that body text. That's going to be the italic and the bold that we made sure came in with this text. I also have a couple of character styles already made, italic and bold, and that's all that's defined in each of those styles. Now I could select all of the text that's italic and apply the character style italic to that text, but I want to make sure InDesign does this for me and does it quickly. So I'll display my paragraph style again, and I'm going to go up to the Find Change dialog box using Command or Control F to get there. I'm going to leave the top section alone because I'm not looking for any specific text. I'm just going to work with the bottom section where we talk about formatting. So down here in Find Format, I'm going to click in this little area here, and I just want to look for basic character formatting, and all I'm going to do is come over to the font style, and I'm going to choose italic. So I've told it I'm looking for any italicized text. I'll say OK to that, and then in the change format section, I'll click again, and choose the character style, italic, and say OK to that. Now I know it looks strange because we're looking for italic and we're changing the formatting to italic, but we're taking that local override italic text and we're going to go ahead and assign a character style to it. I'm just going to go ahead and click Change All, and we see that there are eight replacements that have been made throughout the document. I'm going to clear those two out, and we're going to do the same thing for the bold text. Find Formatting, Basic Character Formats, Bold. Now I'm typing it in. We can use the pull down menu if we'd like, but as you can see there are a lot of different styles to choose from based on the fonts that I have loaded. I'll say bold, OK, and then change the formatting also to our bold character style. Say OK, and change all. So now if we say done and get out of there, now I can see that I have it styled with the body text paragraph style, there are no overrides, and all the text that's italicized has the italic style applied to it, our bold text has the bold style applied to it. And I didn't need to do any of that manually. Well, I certainly hope you found this tip helpful. Be sure to check out InDesignSecrets.com for thousands of InDesign articles and tutorials, and to subscribe to our monthly publication, InDesign Magazine. Thanks for learning with us.